A new Pentagon report presents a sobering assessment of the Taliban-led insurgency in Afghanistan, saying that its abilities are expanding and its operations are increasing in sophistication, despite recent major offensives by U.S. forces in the militant's heartland. The report, requested by Congress, portrays an insurgency with deep roots and broad reach, able to withstand repeated U.S. onslaughts and to reestablish its influence while discrediting and undermining the country's Western-backed government. The next phase of U.S. strategy is expected to begin in the coming weeks, as U.S. and Afghan forces step up operations around the city of Kandahar, which is the spiritual capital of the Taliban movement. The new report offers a grim take on the likely difficulty of establishing lasting security, especially in southern Afghanistan, where the insurgency enjoys broad support. The conclusions raise the prospect that the insurgency in the south may never be completely vanquished, but instead must be contained to prevent it from threatening the government of President Hamid Karzai. The report concludes that Afghan people support or are sympathetic to the insurgency in 92 of 121 districts identified by the U.S. military as key terrain for stabilizing the country. Popular support for Karzai's government is strong in only 29 of those districts. It examines the period between October and the end of March and is the first since the Obama administration put its new strategy in place. A senior defense official said violence increased last year in part because of the additional U.S. troops. There are currently about 87,000 U.S. forces in Afghanistan, a number expected to rise to 98,000 by the end of August.